If you're new to the world of crypto, figuring out how to buy Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies can be confusing at first. Thankfully, it's pretty simple to learn the ropes. You can start investing in cryptocurrency by following these easy steps. Remember, investing in cryptocurrency is purely speculative, and your capital is at risk. You might lose some or all of your money. Number 1. Choose a broker or crypto exchange. To buy cryptocurrency, first you need to pick either a broker or a crypto exchange. So what is the difference between these two? Let's discuss. Cryptocurrency Exchange A cryptocurrency exchange is a platform where buyers and sellers meet to trade cryptocurrencies. Exchanges often have relatively low fees, but they tend to have more complex interfaces with multiple trade types and advanced performance charts, all of which can make them intimidating for new crypto investors. Some of the most well-known cryptocurrency exchanges are Coinbase Binance CEX IO Gemini Kraken While these companies' standard trading interfaces may overwhelm beginners, particularly those without a background trading stocks, they also offer user-friendly easy purchase options. The convenience comes at a cost, however, as the beginner-friendly options charge substantially more than it would cost to buy the same crypto via each platform's standard trading interface. To save on costs, you might aim to learn enough to utilize the standard trading platforms before you make your first crypto purchase, or not long after. What is a cryptocurrency broker? Cryptocurrency brokers take the complexity out of purchasing crypto, offering easy-to-use interfaces that interact with exchanges for you. Some charge higher fees than exchanges. Others claim to be free, while making money by selling information about what you and other traders are buying and selling to large brokerages, or funds, or not executing your trade at the best possible market price. While they are undeniably convenient, you have to be careful with brokers, because you may face restrictions on moving your cryptocurrency holdings off the platform. With some, you cannot transfer your crypto holdings out of your account. This may not seem like a huge deal, but advanced crypto investors prefer to hold their coins in crypto wallets for extra security. Some even choose hardware crypto wallets that are not connected to the internet for even more security. Number 2. Find exchange that works in your country. There are hundreds of cryptocurrency exchanges all over the world. For regulatory reasons, not all exchanges work in all countries. Additionally, exchanges may only take traditional money from certain countries. Generally, you're best served by choosing an exchange located in the same country where you are. That way, your cryptocurrency is governed by the same laws and regulations that you are. Look for a physical address for the exchange, to confirm that the exchange is located in your country. You can typically find this, on an about page that lists basic information about the exchange. If you can't find a physical address, then Google the exchange name and office. You will get the location. Number 3. Limit your choices to exchanges that take traditional money. There are two types of exchanges. Global exchange where cryptocurrencies are only used to buy another crypto and second is local exchange where your dollars can be used to buy coins. For this reason, there's no point in registering with an exchange that only accepts cryptocurrency for payment. You might look at methods of payment as well and think in terms of security. Some exchanges require bank transfers while others accept PayPal or credit or debit cards. While using your credit or debit card for your purchase may be convenient for you, it is less secure than other methods. You also want to take note of how long the exchange takes to complete your transaction. If you are comparing two exchanges that are otherwise equal, but one takes over a week to complete a transaction, while the other completes transactions within 24 hours, you likely want to go with the second choice. Number 4. Determine how you want to use cryptocurrency. There are some exchanges that prohibit or limit withdrawal of cryptocurrency from your account. This would be fine if you simply want to buy cryptocurrency as an investment. However, if 
You plan to use your cryptocurrency regularly, to buy goods and services, you'll want an exchange with fewer limitations. Consider when the exchange is open to trades, and make sure this suits your schedule as well as your intended use of cryptocurrency. 4. Example, if you plan to actively trade cryptocurrency, you may feel more comfortable with an exchange that is open to trading 24-7. If this is your first cryptocurrency purchase, you may not know exactly how you want to use cryptocurrency, and that's okay. Think in terms of what you might have an interest in doing in the future, and give yourself room to expand as your comfort with crypto G. Number 5. Compare fees at different exchanges. There are different types of fees charged by exchanges, and these can vary widely. The most basic fee is a network or minor fee, which will also be the lowest, typically only a few cents USD per transaction. 6. Depending on your method of payment, you may also be charged a conversion fee. This fee varies anywhere from 0.5% to 5% of your total purchase, and is charged by the exchange to convert your fiat currency into cryptocurrency. Some exchanges don't charge a conversion fee for funds transferred directly from your bank. You may also be charged transactional fees by the exchange based on your trading volume. These fees range from 0.1% to 0.5%, with lower fees typically paid by more active traders, those who buy and sell on the exchange more frequently. Number 6. Evaluate the exchange's user interface. If you can't figure out how to use the exchange, you're not going to get much enjoyment out of trading cryptocurrency. Look for a straightforward, intuitive interface that you can easily navigate. You might also look at the resources the exchange has to educate and guide beginners as they start to trade cryptocurrency. Beginner-friendly exchanges include Coinbase, Bitit, Sex, IO, CoinMama, CoinSquare, Gemini, Kraken, and Shapeshift. Number 7. Research the exchange's reputation. Do some research off the website of the exchange itself to find unbiased articles and reviews. Read about the history of the exchange and its founders. If you can't verify an exchange's legitimacy, don't invest your money there. 8. If the exchange has had security issues or other problems in the past, find out how those problems were addressed. You may have to dig deep to find negative stories that the exchange developers attempt to hide from search results so as not to dissuade potential customers. Don't just look on the first page of search results, go 10 or 15 pages deep if possible. Number 8. Create and verify your account. Once you decide on a cryptocurrency broker or exchange, you can sign up to open an account. Depending on the platform and the amount you plan to buy, you may have to verify your identity. This is an essential step to prevent fraud and meet regulatory requirements. You may not be able to buy or sell cryptocurrency until you complete the verification process. The platform may ask you to submit a copy of your driver's license or passport, and you may even be asked to upload a selfie to prove your appearance matches the documents you submit. Once your information is received, the exchange will send an email to the address you provided. That email will include a link or code that you'll use to verify your email address. The exchange also will send a text message to your mobile phone with a code you must enter to access your account. The text message code is part of 2FA. This process will occur every time you log on to your exchange account. Provided you enter your password correctly, the exchange will send a code to your phone. You'll be granted access to your account when you correctly enter the code. Because the verification links and codes are only valid for a brief period of time, it is recommended that you have your phone nearby and your email account open. If you don't see an email within a few minutes, check your spam or junk folder. Number 9. Connect your method of payment. After you've verified your identity and opened your account, you'll need to connect that account to the source of traditional money. You'll use to buy your cryptocurrency. Depending on the method you choose, it could take three to five days for the connection to be completed. If you use your bank account, this will typically take longer. 
However, it's also more secure and typically offers quicker processing time for purchases. You may be able to connect a credit card instantaneously, but it will be less secure and you'll likely encounter additional processing fees. If you have to wait for your method of payment to connect, watch the markets for a few days, and look around the exchange to become more familiar with the interface and transaction process. Number 10. Place your cryptocurrency order. Once there is money in your account, you're ready to place your first cryptocurrency order. There are hundreds of cryptocurrencies to choose from, ranging from well-known names like Bitcoin and Ethereum to more obscure cryptos like Feet of Fuel or Holo. When you decide on which cryptocurrency to purchase, you can enter its ticker symbol, Bitcoin, for instance, is BTC, and how many coins you'd like to purchase. With most exchanges and brokers, you can purchase fractional shares of cryptocurrency, allowing you to buy a sliver of high-priced tokens like Bitcoin or Ethereum that otherwise take thousands of dollars to own. Number 11. Select a storage method. Cryptocurrency exchanges are not backed by the central bank, and they are at risk of theft or hacking. You could even lose your investment if you forget or lose the codes to access your account. That's why it's so important to have a secure storage place for your cryptocurrencies. As noted above, if you're buying cryptocurrency via a broker, you may have little to no choice in how your cryptocurrency is stored. If you purchase cryptocurrency through an exchange, you have more options. Leave the crypto on the exchange. When you buy cryptocurrency, it's typically stored in a so-called crypto wallet attached to the exchange. If you don't like the provider your exchange partners with or you want to move it to a more secure location, you might transfer it off of the exchange to a separate hot or cold wallet. Depending on the exchange and the size of your transfer, you may have to pay a small fee to do this. Hot Wallets these are crypto wallets that are stored online and run on internet-connected devices, such as tablets, computers, or phones. Hot wallets are convenient, but there's a higher risk of theft since they're still connected to the internet. Cold wallets. Cold crypto wallets aren't connected to the internet, making them your most secure option for holding cryptocurrency. They take the form of external devices, like a USB drive or a hard drive. You have to be careful with cold wallets, though, if you lose the key code associated with them or the device breaks or fails, you may never be able to get your cryptocurrency back. While the same could happen with certain hot wallets, some are run by custodians, who can help you get back into your account if you get locked out. Alternative ways to buy cryptocurrency. While buying cryptocurrency is a major trend right now, it's a volatile and risky investment choice. If investing in crypto on an exchange or via a broker doesn't feel like the right choice for you, here's are a few options to indirectly invest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. 1. Wait for Crypto Exchange Traded Funds ETFs. Exchange traded funds are popular investments that let you buy exposure to hundreds of individual holdings in one fell swoop. This means they provide immediate diversification and are less risky than selecting individual investments. There is a huge appetite for cryptocurrency ETFs, which allow you to invest in many cryptocurrencies at once. To invest in cryptocurrency ETFs overseas the investors need to transfer the money under the liberalized remittance scheme route. 2. Invest in companies connected to cryptocurrency. If you'd rather invest in companies with tangible products or services and that are subject to regulatory oversight, but still want exposure to the cryptocurrency market, you can buy shares in companies that use or own cryptocurrencies and the blockchain that powers them. You'll need an online brokerage account to buy shares in publicly listed companies such as NVIDIA, NVDA. This technology company designs and sells graphics processing units, which are at the heart of the systems used to mine cryptocurrency. Square, Square. This payment services provider for small businesses has purchased Bitcoin worth millions of dollars since October 2020. In February 2021, the firm disclosed that Bitcoin made up around 5% of the cash on its balance sheet. In addition, Square's Cash App allows people to buy, sell and store cryptocurrency. Our final opinion. 
As with any investment, make sure you consider your investment goals and current financial situation before investing in cryptocurrency or individual companies that have a heavy stake in it. Cryptocurrency can be extremely volatile, a single tweet can make its price plummet, and it's still a very speculative investment. This means you should invest carefully and with caution, 